games. It's not a boy's game. It's not a girl's game. It's everyone's game. It's about where we are and where we are going, as said by Nichelle Nichols. Hello there. I'm Deekshita from grade 7 and it gives me immense pleasure to speak on this important day marked in the calendar. It is a day to celebrate the contributions of women and girls in the field of science. Yes, it is the International Day of Women and Girls in Science celebrated from 2015 on the 11th of February year on year. Oh no, how can I celebrate when the battle isn't yet over? Yes, for too long now, the battle against discriminatory stereotypes have not permitted women and girls from having equal access to education in STEM, which is science, technology, engineering and mathematics to its fullest. On this international day, I urge commitment from our world and national leaders to end bias and stop passing new laws for nothing. Instead, step it up for gender equality and the empowerment of women. Step it up for Planet 5050 through STEM plan requirements, as voiced out by Lakshmi Puri, former Assistant Secretary General at the United Nations and former Deputy Executive Director of UN Women at the UNGA in 2017. Statistics says that the gaps remain wide and persistent in the fields of science, technology, engineering and mathematics at graduate, postgraduate and doctorate levels with just 18, 8 and 2 percent in a 14 country study respectively. This is not only in developing countries, but also the status in the developed countries. Typically, it is a reflection of two major gender gaps. The education gap, as well as the decent work and productive employment gap. By going beyond both is a myth. One, gender stereotype that has been built off the STEM field as a masculine one, requiring the kind of intellectual ability, stamina, creativity, hard work and tenacity, attributes that women and girls are falsely seen not to inherently possess nor capable of acquiring. 2. Then there is the usual issue of women in STEM careers either being deterred by or dropping out due to care responsibilities that they have to disproportionately bear and combine with punishing schedules and demands faced in their careers. This is not inviting women and girls to celebrate this day. Earmarking such days are as important as working towards it every day. We need to witness the celebration happen every day by every woman on this planet. Sad that there are women who are not visible to the world. We must accept the fact that we have not enough role models and award winners to inspire and embolden others to join, finish education and training and rise in STEM careers. So what we need to do to create and foster an ecosystem that nourishes the interest, talent and intellectual capital of women and girls in STEM education, training and careers is to address these structural barriers and gaps. Step it up to train and develop skills. Step it up to educate girls and women to go for STEM education stream through special measures, incentives and scholarships. Step it up to mentor girls and women in all stages on their path to participation and leadership in STEM education and careers. Step it up to transform the patriarchal spaces and culture of work again through special measures like flexible working hours, childcare, parental leave, shorter work hours, incentives, motivational leadership and management, etc. Step it up with significant investments to recruit, retain and promote STEM women to generate a critical mass so that it creates its own snowballing effect towards parity democracy in STEM. Finally, let us not forget that the resolution declaring the International Day was adopted with prime focus on the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development and its emphasis on science, technology and innovation as a critical enabler of the three dimensions of sustainable development that is, economic growth, social development and environment sustainability. I'll join you on yet another celebration as together we shall stir the stakeholders to galvanize the global community to ensure full accountability to the advancement of women. Together, we must not forget that women's participation in innovation is not the exception but becomes the norm of life and work. Thank you.